So, the good news for the WhatsApp users who are switching from Android to iOS is finally here. WhatsApp officially announced that WhatsApp users will be able to transfer their chat history from Android to iPhone using the Move to iOS app. It took them so long, but I'm glad that now those third-party paid tools are not the only option to transfer WhatsApp messages from Android to iPhone. But there are some users who are complaining that Move to iOS is still not transferring WhatsApp from Android to iPhone. They are facing different issues, like some WhatsApp users are saying that they are not seeing the WhatsApp option in the Move to iOS app, while others are saying that the transfer stops at 40-60% to 60 and they see this transfer error message. So in this video, I will give you an alternate solution if the Move to iOS not transferring WhatsApp from Android to your iPhone. Before transferring WhatsApp messages from Android to iPhone with the move to iOS, there are a few things you should keep in mind. First, your Android should be running Android version 5 or above. iOS 15.5 or above should be installed on your iPhone. Move to iOS should be installed on your Android. WhatsApp iOS version 2, 22, 10, 70 or above should be there on your iPhone. WhatsApp version 2, 22, 7, 74 or above is required on Android. Now, I'll make sure that both my Android and iOS device fulfills these conditions. First, I'm going to check the WhatsApp Messenger version installed on my iPhone. I have the version 2.22.13.74, which is good enough as per the instructions available on the official WhatsApp website. Now, let me check the WhatsApp version installed on my Android. Again, it's version 2.22.13.76, which would serve the purpose. Move to iOS is also there on my Android, so we are good to go. Now I will go to Settings and Factory Reset My iPhone so that I can get an option to transfer my WhatsApp from Android to my iPhone during the setup. If you have some important data on your iPhone that you want to keep, then you should back it up to iCloud or iTunes. The whole process should take a couple of minutes. Now, I will quickly set up my iPhone. I don't want to bore you by showing the entire process, so I will fast forward the video a bit. I'm finally on the Apps and Data screen. I will tap on Move Data from Android option. Tap on Continue button and you will see either 6-digit or 10-digit code on the screen. Enter this code on your Android and you will see the Transfer Data screen on your Android. As you can see, in my case, there is no option to transfer WhatsApp data from Android to iPhone. Some users do see the WhatsApp option in the Move to iOS app, but their transfer stuck at some point and they cannot complete the transfer no matter how many times they try. Now I'll show you what to do when Move to iOS is not transferring WhatsApp from Android to your iPhone or WhatsApp option is invisible in the Move to iOS app. By the way, these are the chats that I'll move from Android to my iPhone. Before moving to the main process, you will need to back up your WhatsApp chat to local storage. Make sure Never is selected under Google Drive option while you back up your chat to your Android phone. Next, unhide Developers option menu on your Android by going to Settings, About Phone, Software Information and tapping on Build Number 7 times. Go 
Go to Developer Options and turn on the USB Debugging Mode on your Android. We're going to use a computer app called WhatsApp Transfer. This is your only bet to transfer WhatsApp from Android to iOS if the Move to iOS app is not transferring WhatsApp messages from Android to your iPhone. All the information about this tool, including the download link, is in the video description text. Click on WhatsApp option if you have regular WhatsApp Messenger on your Android. WhatsApp business users should click WhatsApp business icon. I will use the backup mode of this app to first transfer my WhatsApp messages from Android to my computer. You just need to connect your Android to computer via USB cable and click Backup Now button. I've already backed up my chats on my Android, so I will click the Continue button. Software has started reading WhatsApp messages from my Android. Now you need to verify the phone number associated with your WhatsApp account. This is just to ensure that you are a legitimate owner of this account. Just make sure that the two-step verification is disabled on the WhatsApp. Finally, enter the verification code you receive on your phone number and click the Verify button. Software successfully backed up the Android WhatsApp messages to computer. You can now disconnect the Android from your computer. Now you need to log into your WhatsApp account on your iPhone by verifying your phone number. Do not restore from the iCloud backup. Now go back to the software and click Restore Backup button and connect your iPhone to your computer with USB cable. This option is also accessible from the main interface of the app. Click the Restore Now button and the software will start restoring WhatsApp chats from the computer backup to your iPhone. You can choose which data you want to transfer. I want to transfer everything, so I will click the Continue button. App is asking me to log into my WhatsApp account on iPhone. I have done this already, so I will just click the Logged In button. You need to temporarily turn off the Find My iPhone feature on your iPhone. You can easily disable Find My iPhone on your iPhone by opening the Settings app on your iPhone and accessing your Apple profile. After disabling Find My iPhone, you need to click the Try Again button. App will start restoring WhatsApp data from backup to iPhone. The transfer is complete, so we can now disconnect the iPhone from the computer. Now I will open the WhatsApp Messenger on my iPhone and show you that the software successfully transferred WhatsApp data from Android to my iPhone. Software transferred everything, including WhatsApp messages, WhatsApp media files, and even the stickers. So if the move to iOS not transferring WhatsApp from Android to iPhone, then you can follow this alternate method to transfer your WhatsApp data from Android to iPhone. Please remember, these types of apps require you to pay a small fee to remove the trial limitations. That's all for now. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up and share it as much as you can. Thank you for watching.